This is ah, we are live. Welcome everyone. This is Let's Talk D to C, episode thirty. My name is Sandy. And I'm joined here by my sidekick, my partner, my homeboy. How are you doing today, Vincent? Great. How about you, Sandy? I'm doing great, man. I'm excited about this episode because there's so many different things I want to share. There's so many awesome things happening. Uh, was e-commerce as a whole, especially Instagram. Just too many things to talk about, but. Before I get too far down the road, let me just talk about, again, this is Let's Talk to You See, where we talk about how to help you to better create relationships with your audience and the new terminology that we're so excited about and sharing with you with our new posts. All of our stuff these days is a new term, um, not necessarily new, but something that we're excited about using and, and bringing everyone up to speed about is called conversational commerce. Wow. Wow. I mean... Just wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, that's what we're here to do. We're here to help you understand, to have conversation with your people when we talk about creating relationships with your audience. It's about engagement. It's about having com conversation in order to get that commerce to flow. People like to do business with people they know, like, and trust. It's important to have conversations with them. So I love that term. We're going to be using a lot of it. We're going to be sharing more about it with you here in a minute. But before I get too far down the road, um, let me share with you some things that we're going to be sharing with you today. Well, let me say this. Firstly, what we like to go into is, and this is one of the things we're excited about as well, we like to talk about AR. And AR is one of those things that we know everyone needs to be doing. And it's the next thing. In fact, I think it's going to be crazy, crazy blowing up in terms of Christmas holidays, shoppers, and all that kind of stuff. That is the next level. Uh, I, we're going to get away from this little square device uh, and going into AR. So that's one of the things we like to share about. And that means that, you know, we talked about Facebook Oculus, um, their little thing they had last week. We talk about normally uh, we share things about latest e-commerce news. Um, one of those things is actually Facebook Libra and that what's going on with them. Um, and then we talk sometimes about, you know, what's going on with Facebook uh, and especially Instagram, we share with you what's going on with them because to us and everyone in the world, Instagram is the most engaging platform on the planet. Uh, it is where you're going to get a real understanding of who your audience is. And we have a lot to share with you today about Instagram. They have just a whole bunch of updates, but the number one thing that they have coming up is AR. And I'm I, I can't wait to get into that. What do you think, Vincent? That's just crazy what we were talking yeah. about. Yeah, I mean, Instagram works very well because e-commerce naturally is is product space and products you want to see pictures of it, right? So AR brings it to an even higher level. You can even uh, sort of try it out virtually, right? Yeah. And this works very well for like uh, cosmetics or things that you put on your face, but this is just the beginning and it, it's, it's our, our creativity right for how we can use the technology yeah yeah so and clearly you know instagram is they're always in scramble mode because firstly they you know they want to keep that audience um but they also want to tap into a younger demographic and one of the threats to them is TikTok. so you know one of the updates or new additions is how to combat against um TikTok and Snapchat. So we're going to be sh sharing a little bit about TikTok. Not so much TikTok, but we do share about TikTok periodically here. Of course, it, what would be, as we be without talking about Amazon and Shopify, all that kind of good stuff that goes on with them periodically as well. Um, we share as well about Messenger Pixels. That's something that's still coming. Yeah, Vincent? Mm-hmm. I don't think it's quite there yet, but I, we keep hearing that it's, it's going to be coming. And we know, every, I mean, they combined, combined uh, Instagram, Messenger, and, and um, WhatsApp for that reason, so that you can now pixel your, your conversations or what's going on. Messenger, um, Messenger doesn't have it built in, but there's actually ways around it to get, to get, your, to get those people pixeled. Yeah. Yeah, 
So yeah, again, we're we're still kind of staying on top of this news, and that's what we're talking about. Some of the things we normally share in our Facebook page, and that's why we're sharing these things. That you can go to our Facebook page and find and see those things as we talk about them. We talk about some things as it relates to direct to consumer growth, uh, and that means we share with you some of the. Um, um, disruptive companies that are coming into the marketplace with funding. So we use a, we share with you some of the resources that we have there. I think one of them actually is called DTC Daily. We share stuff from there. And then we're gonna do a, a door speak critique. Um, that's one of the things we're gonna be very focused on today. And that's what we like to focus on a lot of this is, I mean, that really what we like to do is give you that understanding of how you could be doing store. Vincent is the expert when it comes to how to get people to engage and start conversations with you. So I'm looking forward to uh, the the share that he has today. What are we, what's the store that we're sharing today? Uh, it's called Bemba. It's an yeah. eco-friendly store. Yeah. Uh, it's the, they're about zero waste, like zero, uh, no, no plastic and using things that are biodegradable. Perfect, perfect, I love that. And then you also build a bot out for them because we, so we do a critique and then we, Benson is the expert at building out a, a, an engagement bot. Um, so you're gonna do that as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool, cool. And then as well on our Facebook page, you can find things that are going on with Facebook Horizon community, I think with the, the launch of AR uh, and the ability to do virtual reality, all that kind of stuff that Facebook is focusing on. There's a whole new, kind of a second life, if you don't know what that is, it's virtual world where a great deal of commerce is going on. You can create characters, all that kind of stuff. It's very cool. If you don't know what we're talking about, again, you can find all that on our Facebook page. And, um, and it starts with their Google Hands. I mean, that's going to be that user experience that you're going to want to bring to your audience when it comes to augmented reality. So, and if you don't know the difference, we also share with you there. Uh, so, Google Hands, then Google Glasses, because Hands is very limited, but then Google Glasses, I'm sorry, Oculus AR glasses, they're like Google, well, they're like these, they look like these, and that's coming as well next year. So, anyways. I digress. Again, if you want to find out more about what we're talking about, let me briefly share with you what we've got on our Facebook page, and we'll launch right into um, what's happening with um, Facebook um, or Instagram from there. So uh, if you want to know all the other five different things going on, we'll, we'll have a post there, but let me see if I can find and you can see all the cool stuff we were just talking about this i don't know if you noticed but i've been playing around with um our page a little bit um i changed the format to be more video focused have you noticed that yet well not yet <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, yeah it's kind of a quick tip that i got from somewhere and it's very video focused but um, the point really is that um, a reason why I did this was because of what we're going to be doing and what we're going to share. Get out of some. called instant experience um, and what they are is uh, I'm dragging with it can you see my screen you there Vincent um, yeah yeah I can see your screen it's yeah yeah okay yeah see it now okay so my my uh, I've got too many tabs open I guess because this is dragging just a little bit my wi-fi has been crazy because the weather here has been a little bit bipolar quite honestly it's, it was, it's been raining i don't know i don't know it's crazy anyways we ch i changed this for format around a little bit so you can see all of our our um 
DDC and some other stuff here. Very cool. I like this. But uh, here is really what I wanted to share with you before we got, before I get too far down that rabbit hole, <laughs> which is very easy for me to do. Um, so before we would have our our you know page laid out as a a service group, but this is now video focused. Um, I kind of like it. I think we can change the flow of this, but. Uh, in terms of the, the the stack of it, I'm pretty sure I we used to be able to do that. And I'll see if I can do that again, change some things. But as this is taking its time to load, um, the point we're trying to get to right right now is we wanted to show you what is really hot. And you can see here's a post that has send message, which has been our focus in the past. And then some of our post here and this is what i wanted to share right now okay and primarily i wanted to share with you all the stuff that we just shared with you is <laughs> you can find all that stuff here on our page um, as our post so instead of spending time sharing all that stuff you can come here and see all the stuff that we like to share but here's the thing um and that's something else we're going to get to in a minute but here's the main focus right now is this going on inside of Instagram. Um, and you can read this here. Um, AR shopping on Instagram is now reality. It's my little play on words there. Um, but this is the initial post. You can find it Mashable where, and we're going to be sharing a little bit later how this works. We just discovered this and we'll show a demo of how this works later. Uh, but the point is, is that inside of Instagram now, and this is, I think, Ray Brand, Ray Ban, you're going to be able to actually um, uh, Brands, select brands right now are able to actually let you try on the glasses. Glasses, and what is it they call? Um, what is it they're calling it? Uh, Instagram buy. Thanks for check out. Instagram check out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. on Instagram check out, um, you're able to. Basically, before you smash that buy button, you're going to be able to actually try on the glasses. Um, so that that's huge uh, to give people that kind of experience. And right now, only certain brands are able to do it. Um, I think who is who else is able to? Let's go into this article so you can see real quick. Um, Ray Ban and um, another glasses brand, and then there is also. Um, uh, a lipstick brand that uh, Mac makeup um, clear are you're able to actually put the lipstick on you know select a color and then wear the lipstick so I'm totally excited about it. I may <laughs> I thought about trying on the lipstick myself but I think I'll have my wife try it and show a video of her doing it <laughs> I don't think I want to see myself on lipstick do you <laughs> Are you brave enough? Secure enough? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think. It's so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I guess I, I, I don't think I'm going to <laughs> share that real quick. I just found that page. So, um, yeah. So I just brought up the article that you are able to have a look at. And um, in fact, I should just share the application, but now I've got too many tabs open. Let me see, where is it? Yeah. So again, very few select brands are able to did I say Vincent? Oh. <laughs> I was getting, uh, <laughs> getting the words of fuck the wheel. That's right. Skate to where the puck will be. So, 
We like to get you well ahead of where things are going to be. And this is not a fantasy, folks. This is what's actually happening inside of Instagram. So, you know, here's your post, you know, and you can get to, you know, the lipstick that you of your choice. Um, I'm not sure this is a good color for you, Vincent, but it might be. <laughs> um, but here's here's someone trying on the color. So you can see the color selection or the lipstick brand here, and then the color selection here, and then it's clearly her her trying it on um before she buys it yep. so we're going this to be doing... because i i remember there was one also a lipstick brand that has this and it's on instant messenger if i recall oh, yeah. correctly yeah. Like that. Yeah. I, I remember that there was there was a something but i can't i can't remember what brand that was yeah yeah you did mention that at one point but you know i, I I can only imagine that what that would entail from that perspective. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, with me as well. Uh, but we'll, we're going to find out what that's going to entail for you as someone who has an Instagram store um, and the ability to. Uh, uh, here it is. It's trying on here. So we'll figure out how this works eventually, and we'll demo this. Um, you see, we'll we'll set it up so that you can you'll find us in a in our Instagram stories um, where you can get this. We'll set up a demo so you can see how to set the, how this is set up and how to use it um, because it wasn't easy. But we looked at it for a brief moment and weren't able to find how that works. But we'll let you know how it works. So. What have you got on tap for us, Vincent? Anything? Um, Want to briefly share before we get there the store that we're going to be talking about? Yep. Let me share my screen here. And while Vincent is doing that, let me give me a moment to share with you our template. Now, again, we like to focus on helping you to create relationships with your audience. So what we've done and the reason why we do all of this is to help you with getting from point A to point B, as you can see at the top of our, our screen here, that little point A to point B thing there. The point of us in doing that and shit so that we have this little template that's called our relationship builder template. And again, the idea is to help you to get from point A to point B um, with your audience. And it starts with basically understanding who your audience is. A lot of people are missing the mark when it comes to understanding who they're talking to, um, making sure they're talking to the right people. You know, and, and this is what I see a lot of the Instagram followers that they have. They're not their audience. They just want to, you know, it's a vanity number when you have a bunch of people that's following you, but none of them, or a small percentage of them are actually your audience. So we want to help you to make sure and help you with making sure that you're targeting the right people, that people that are following you are your audience, not just random people. Um, and that's where we start. And then we take you all the way through to having an amazing product ecosystem, understanding how to, how to do your ads. And there's something else we're going to be sharing with you today with the instant experience. We share with you how to create a, become a, 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 a a um, content powerhouse because we share with you how to set up a content calendar and then you know what your numbers are when you introduce a new product um, and that's really from point a to point b that we're talking about and a lot of what we do really focus on right now is middle of the funnel this is known as the relationship building aspect of it this is foundational stuff got to get this right your press your messaging your brand your product all this has to be in here, your audiences has to be on point and then, of course, looking at what you know, your lead magnet looks like is also very key here. Um, so that's what Vincent is really good at and helping. And what we spend a lot of time focusing on is that middle funnel um, kind of um, uh, builder or processes so that you can create a, a good relationship with conversation to get that commerce flowing. So that's what we have. If that's something that you're interested in, 
receiving from us. Um, you'll be able to shortly, when we build out our own instant experience, you'll be able to click on the button when you see this at our in our experience and just it'll just type it and then just type in the keyword template and you'll be able to get this template for it and to help you get started with some instructions as to what you need to be doing to each one of these little steps here. Okay. So Vincent has brought up uh, the store that we're going to be talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me share that yep. real quick. And just going to give a quick brief understanding of this store, and then we'll come back to it a little bit later. Yep. It's the store called Ambal, something like that. <laughs> it's a very nice logo. And they're based in, a, in, a, in Europe, somewhere in Europe, actually. So it's it's pretty interesting, their, their concept, like everything here is made of bamboo. That's why uh, <laughs> the name is Bamboo is very uh, fitting. Yeah. And, and they have actually a very good, very good story about it. Like they, they, they explain the whole entire process and what, what, the, what they stand. I mean, uh, why they created this brand, uh, what's their take on this um, environmental uh, things because I mean these days it's all about the there's so much waste these days right plastic yeah. waste and other things and they are also here working with I, I saw somewhere that they're working with a uh, couple of different organizations as well to we'll work on this uh, waste issue and uh, yeah these these are two organizations that they work with and also another interesting thing here is that not only do they they also do customizations here which um like all these things but this is more for corporate not not really for direct to consumer but this make for great gifts well it could be sort of direct to consumer as well i guess like let's say you're doing like a a, a wedding and you want to do like a gift and can these are some good ideas for gifts also right mm. So their, their main thing is about, I mean, this is what I love about this company is that they are really focusing on zero waste. I mean, we know what's going on with plastics all over the world. I mean, sometimes I'm appalled at what, what we see in the ocean and our landfills. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of sickening to look at this, to think that we contribute to those things um, on a regular basis because we have so much um, plastics that we use on a daily basis and this most of it's disposable you know even our toothbrushes which is I noticed they had a toothbrush there I mean I, I have an electric one but you know I have several different plastic toothbrushes around here as well that you know after three months I throw them out and you know I don't always t take my my um, my electric toothbrush with me when I travel um, mm -hmm. and even a razor I mean that's you know, we throw that stuff out as well. So I really like this brand. Um, it's it's bamboo, which is a great, you know, great product as well. Great wood to yep. use. Very sexy. Very, I like it a lot. So cool. So um, and another going cool to come back. Oh, here is that the bamboo is actually sourced from Indonesia here. <laughs> oh. Which I thought was very interesting. cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So that um, bamboo takes a long time to grow, but I mean, I'm sure there's too much of it there, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, it would be cool. I'm not sure if I've seen any videos, but I mean, that's a good little clip that they showed their video, uh, picture. But man, I would love to see a video of the behind the scenes. But my main point is I love that. Yeah, it's very cool. It'd be great to see, you know, them do a, a you know, from from raw material to delivery kind of thing. That'd be awesome. Uh, and they've been featured on a few few uh, networks, yeah? yeah? Yeah. I think uh, USA Today and CBS, uh, Zero Waste Products. That's very cool. What was the tagline they had? Uh, yeah. 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 So. Very cool. 
some very, very popular brands or networks there that they've been featured on. So together we can achieve more. That's very cool. So that's why we like this brand and we're going to, you know, one thing that they're missing, yeah, Vincent? Yeah, they're, 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 they do have a, li a live chat widget here, but I mean, it's a yeah. live chat where you have to manually respond to it and it's not very, it's not in, uh, interactive in that it doesn't, it doesn't respond automatically and it doesn't really say much yeah. because it, you're not really getting it. This. They're only going to click on this if they have questions. So what we usually like to do is to have this to engage those people on, on the website, have it say some sort of a message. And for example, you can say like, hey, uh, take this quiz and see like how, how, uh, how environmentally friendly you are. Mm -hmm. And how much, oh, they say how much uh, waste are in your, uh, like, like you can say like it's a zero waste quiz and go ahead and take the quiz and you can, at the end of the quiz can, can sort of give them like a score and also like incentivize them by giving them uh, uh, discount as well. Awesome. That's some awesome. idea. All right. So you, you're going to do a quick demo part of that. Yeah. Just kind of. Yeah. yeah. But the main thing here is engagement. If you if you've got people on your site, you know, you have to have some kind of lead magnet, which is again, that middle of the funnel, uh, that, that conversational commerce aspect you have to have that you have to engage people it's no different than if people come into your store and they you know give them a moment to browse and you have to engage them you have to spend some a few minutes saying hi how are you how do you, you know would you like to try this on you know it's you know we're gonna bridge that gap between you know how it used to be when we used to go to the store and try stuff and we still do of course we do but how do we fit, make that user experience similar online? You've got to have some kind of engagement, um, something that Vince is going to demonstrate how that works, that people can engage. But you've got to be asking the right questions. You know, it's easy to ask a question when you get into a store. Hey, how are you? You want to try that in blue? You know, here people have the option to ignore you. You know, and of course in the store they say, no, I'm just looking. But that's that's okay too. But here. You have, if you have, I don't know how many people they have come to this site, but let's say they have, you know, 100,000 people come to this site. Imagine if 10% were you able to engage. That's a good number of people to actually have in your engagement funnel or your mm -hmm. engagement, your conversational commerce funnel, if you will. And I'm really stuck on that word now. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of people that you can spend time with, um, automated time with until they're ready to buy. And then you can do that that face-to-face, -face, even video. And I'm sure why people aren't doing it, but some people are just, you know, they're just ready to smash that bike button. They don't really need to talk to someone. But if they do, you know, it's good to have someone on the other end ready to just talk to them face-to-face. -face. That is going to, you know, imagine that. I mean, no one is doing that. No one is actually, oh, hi, how are you today? You know, face-to-face. -face. You know, they're text messaging people, you know, but... It's going to get there. Anyways, we're going to come back to this. Yeah, we're going to build out that bot. Yeah. Yep. And one thing also is that when, when you have this message to pop up, like you can also customize it where on, on this page you can say certain things. And then when they're on a different uh, process on the, uh, on the sales cycle, maybe they are, they're looking to customize something, you can actually say a different different message here and and, and start the conversation a different way. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyways, we're going to come back to this in a minute. Um, I want to switch gears just for a few seconds because, you know, you've got nothing going on if you're not doing something with um, your content and you've got to be just creating content like crazy. So um, if you're not doing that, then you're invisible and no one likes to be invisible. So what I want to share with you just briefly is I've been talking about lately um, how to use um, uh, what's sharing their Facebook Creator Studio. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, I've already shared with you how to post, all that kind of good stuff. But what I want to share with you today, and you can look at that, those videos and you can see in our inside of our Facebook page, our 
probably in the last four videos we've talked about we've talked about creator studio but what i want to share with you today is insights so give me a second to share with you um, about more insights and these insights is more more related to um, where we know things are going, that is in video. Uh, you know, there's a, a big push with Facebook to, I mean, they're, they're not, they are competing with YouTube, but YouTube is different. Um, but these are, you know, here's what I like about what's going on with Facebook. YouTube is very structured, very, I mean, I, I know professional people there make a great deal of money um, on there but from because they have a number of people following them, watching their videos, and they're making money on ads. That's not the focus here. Um, so they're very structured, very professionally done, and uh, even this is right now being simulcast to our Facebook page. Um, I'm sorry, to our YouTube channel. But with Facebook, the feel really is be yourself. Like we are right now, we're kind of just, we talked for a few minutes about some things, and then we just kind of push, smash that live, go live button, and that's where we are. I hope it doesn't show that we're, <laughs> we're winging this, but we are. I mean, we have a, you know, our slide deck, or if you will, our, our banners that we share with you. We know what we want to talk about, and we spend a few minutes talking about what we want to share. But uh, are you able to see the screen right now? Yep. Okay. So this is inside Creator Studio, and again, you know, you can create your post and um, and shows you the statistics there. But here's what I want you to see mostly is your, you know, in your insights, you can see what's going on. And this shows you for all the different um, pages that you're following. You can single these out as well. But it shows you what's going on with you on a daily basis here um, with your follower count. So. You know, you, you can see that the lines mean different things. Um, so, you know, that's that's good to know. I, I, I would make this, you know, I used to day trade and when this, uh, our U.S. economy went bang, went belly up in 2008. Um, I was doing software sales and, and uh, you know, budgets got tight. It's my, my, my software was complete overhead and a million dollar cost, uh, which included implementation. Um, so, you know, I find myself being a day trader. The most important thing you can be doing is looking at your numbers. So um, here you can see, and this is what I want you to really dig into. Firstly, um, understanding what's going on with your audience. This is better than audience insights, in my opinion, because again, you know, these are about what your posts are doing. Well, it's inside this as well, but this gives you a holistic look at all of your sites. And again, you can break this down based on but this um, i love this how long people look especially video this is what i love mostly about this and that's what you know it's very easy to do video when i do video you know at my instagram stories i'm being spontaneous i don't have to worry about titles and all that other stuff that you have to be clever about um and i'm getting amazing reach <coughs> excuse me amazing reach we're not even using hashtags or location it's just consistency this isn't what this talking about, but this is talking about my videos. And based on this, you're able to then go into showing people how uh, or actually uh, running ads based on video views. You know, people videos for this long, and then the next is 15 second views and the one minute views. Then those videos, you know, that you can promote them and not using Facebook promote because there's those those are crap. You got to get into your ads manager and put, promote those videos and set those up. But this is what I love and I wanted to share with you. This is something we're just kind of getting started into looking at um, and sharing with you. But this is, you know, you've got to know your numbers. I love this 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 look, quite honestly. Uh, and I'm not going to come jump into all that right now. But um, just wanted to, to be aware of this, of this tool, Creator Studio, how it looks and how it works and just really Spend your time looking at your numbers, uh, and of course, that does that's without saying that you have to pretty much have some kind of calendared um, content, if you will. So, if you're not already doing so, I highly recommend that you have some kind of um, calendar of your post. And matter of fact. 
Um, if I haven't mentioned it, you were able to actually uh, schedule things inside of the, and this is what I love most about it. You can schedule things for Facebook and inside of Instagram, your post. Um, so that's what I love most about this platform. Whereas before you could, even on my mobile phone, I was able to actually post and share on, on Facebook, but it, Facebook was very funny about letting people sh uh, schedule things inside of, outside of their platform, third party. And what other platforms were like Lately and, and Buffer, where you could schedule it, but you had to actually go back and it would give you a notification. Now is the time. But here, especially with Instagram, it'll post it for you. You can just set it to get it. So the point I want to make is we also provide you with one of our, with, you know, when we're talking about having you being able to create to be a content powerhouse, uh, we provide you um, a content calendar and as well as um, how to get that done. So if you're interested in that, just type in the keyword calendar and we'll get you that right away so you can start scheduling your posts. And even not just, you know, stuff about you, but, you know, some simple example is there are a lot of holidays and even, you know, days of the week, um, like, you know, yesterday, today is TGIF, of course, very popular. You want to get into where popular tags are, hashtags are. Yesterday was Thursday Thought. Um, and, and, of course, every, go back. Every single day, there's a day for something. <laughs> yeah, there is. So that's what I'm at. Talk like a fire yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, it's day. All yeah, yeah. And again, it's not always about your stuff, you know, and you can curate other people's stuff, but you can just share, you know, it's about brand awareness initially. That's the name of the game right now. People have to know you exist. And then you figure out how to get them into the place to have that conversational commerce as we've talked about. So, um, so anyways, if you're interested and want to figure out a good content calendar, uh, and what you could be posting on a daily basis and, and scheduling inside of uh, uh, a studio, just type in keywords calendar and you'll be able to get um, our little tips on how to get that done. Coolio? Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So I think Vincent is ready to bring us to. Um, Showing a quick demo. Yep. Um, okay, I'm gonna save for last this new. Uh, I'm gonna try and bring it up my phone so you can have a look and see what it looks like, or I'm gonna share it inside of my um, inside of my my uh, ads manager. It's not called ads manager, so I'm struggling with right now. Um, that's gonna be the last thing we show. But um, I'm going to try to show you this new ads um, tool that Facebook has just introduced called um, Instant Experience um, right after this and we'll be done. But um, so Vincent is ready to show us a bot, a yeah. demo bot. So let me share your screen real quick. Mm -hmm. Well, this, this okay. website, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't make the overlay where I usually uh, overlay like a chat widget here because of some security settings that they have. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it on like Messenger uh, later on. But what what we're doing is that Messenger you can also have it integrated into this. It, even with video as well, you can have it integrated into it. And so what you will what we are building actually can work here, or it can also work when somebody message you on Messenger. So let's go into the platform here. Is uh, we're using the my chat platform, which we always like to use because it's uh, simple and you can see that it feels like a flow like this. So I've, I've built out uh, one, one of the, the first messages. So when somebody comes in here, we're gonna say like, hi, uh, and when we, we already know their first name, right? Because Facebook knows everybody's name already. Thanks for hopping the messenger, click the button below to start. Uh, let's, let's say just call it a zero waste knowledge quiz. So, uh, for this example here, we're gonna do like a simple quiz to test like, hey, what's the what's what's like the, your knowledge, right? On, on, um, on waste or plastics and things like that. So I went I went to do some some 
Googling on some <laughs> or on some quiz. And we're gonna take some, uh, these are some pretty good questions here. So I'm just gonna, uh, so one of the question here is, uh, true or false, most of the plastic in the ocean comes from the ships at sea. I think that's a pretty interesting question. So it's just simple true or false. And then, um, true or false. So here, um, so the answer is going to be false, right? And we're going to, here, uh, uh, today we're, I'm, I'm using my, my own here, my own uh, Facebook page to demo, to demo it because it's a pro and we can do a lot of cool stuff here. For example, uh, giving them a score. So how the scoring works here is we're going to have a, a custom field. In this custom field, we're gonna say like um, zero ways quiz and then score. It's gonna be a number. And then we're gonna have this to increase. You can see here, you can increase the number by one. So let's so everybody starts at zero and then we're just gonna increase it by one. So if it's if they say true, then of course you can start the correct answer. And then uh, once they do that, we can give them the answer as well. Let me just copy and paste out this answer here from this um, from this article. And of course, if if they give, let's say if they say the correct answer, let's, let's give them like compliment them, say. That's right. Right, then, then we, we can go to the, the same sequence here. They actually, something like that. And then we go ahead to the next question. Next question, let's ask them, um, the number of arrows in the bottom of a container means the container is recyclable. Uh, so true or false? And then, so you see, again, it, it's uh, pretty interactive. People just click buttons. They don't have to, not, nothing too fancy. Like they don't have to type like long, <laughs> long answers. Because if those, if they have to type in long answers, I. I I believe no one's gonna <laughs> interact with it, right? And then if it, so yeah, the answer here is also gonna be false. And we go back to that set custom field again. So the same custom field, we gotta increase it by one. Increase by one. And then here it's false because um, even though it's recyclable, doesn't mean that the, you can recycle it at your at your city. Yeah, that's that's the reason why, according to this article. Okay, your city is that. Something like that. Because this article is very long. <laughs> so we're just gonna summarize it like that. And we'll go ahead to the next question. Let's let's try an open-ended question this time. Uh, one of the questions here is what one change will you make this week to use less plastic? I mean, that's a pretty awesome question. And then here we can we can also save that, that response. Or we can after they Type in this, say, awesome stuff. And I'm gonna add their name again. Your score is, and then here we can put in the, the score. What, what, what do we call it? Zero risk score. Like that. And then, and then we can also 
uh, give them some discount, right? Uh, some discount code that they can use in the on your store. Yeah, so thank you for taking the time. Uh, something like that and then you can link this to uh we'll go back to the shopping shopping page which is this website so not only can these buttons uh bring to the next conversation you can also link link out to specific pages on your website so let's just let me make sure that all of this is connected first. And then we'll go ahead and test this out. So here, let's go ahead and preview it. So, uh, we're going to test this on, on Messenger here. You can see it says hi Vincent because it knows my name already and click the button below start quiz so the answer is false right so if the, the score now it should be one so let, let's let's make sure let's get this one let's choose the wrong answer here so that it should stay one so now at the end here it says that what one change will you make uh, to use this plastic? Um, use my own water bottle. Okay, and there you have it. Your score is one. That's one one wrong answer and one correct answer. So there's uh, many ways that you can do quizzes. There's just one one quick way, so just for demo purposes. So it's really up to creativity on how um, you can use the tool because uh, as Sandy mentioned, this is a conversational uh, tool, right? You want to just create interactions with them, ask them questions, yeah. and based on how they, they respond, uh, direct the conversation in, in different ways. And of course, here you can also uh, remember all of those um, responses. And then in future messages, you can you can use that you can use those to segment those people out. All right, cool. Uh, taking it a step further, and that was amazing, by the way. Vince always it's a, just does an amazing job at putting these together on the fly. And the first thing is it's got to be how do you get people to engage? I mean, that's number one thing you want to get people to do is is engage with you. So. You're asking the right question, you know, and that quiz is a, is a great idea. You have to have an amazing lead magnet. And you have to figure out how to get people engaged. But how do you take that beyond that? You know, one of the thoughts I have was, you know, you can say, you know, people like to show off, you know, their, their, build, their, wherever they are, some kind of badge, you know, you're gamifying a little bit. So say inside your, your Facebook page, we're all now, top fans and all that kind of stuff would you be able what if you were able to give them a badge that says you know that they can proudly display on their facebook page you know that this is their um, no waste score yeah you know, zero waste score and the, you know if i where it's like top 10 percent in the world kind of thing so that's just some ideas we'd like to share with you you know and how did you dig deeper into how to create more of a, you know, um, a, 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 a grassroots, if you will, or some sort of um, movement, if you will, your your base people. You know, you have to have those brand advocates, that's the word I'm looking for, to help you with, you know, getting the word out. You know, that's, that's what we're talking about, organic reach. It doesn't begin with, organic reach isn't about anymore what you can do to fool the algorithms anymore. It's about what other people are saying about you. That's where you're going to get that organic reach. So very good stuff. 
Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. So now what we want to talk about is um, something that I just, I'm like really kind of giddy over quite honestly, and that is um, talking about, uh, and it's along the same lines, is what Facebook is called instant experiences. And what this is, is really for all intents and purposes, it's kind of like it's carousel, but different. Uh, I would rather describe it as a way to, that you can um, create like a mini, mini website. So uh, let, me, let me see if I can share with you what I'm talking about here. Um, I, I've spent some time this weekend playing with uh, this week, playing with it and learning more about it so that I'm able to um, uh, share it with you. But here's what it's called that you know with and learn some things. Um, so here's some. I want to show you how it looks, but I can show you how it looks. So let me try that. So you can kind of get a feel for it, um, how it looks. Yeah. It's a bit blurry though. Is it? All right, yeah. let me, I'll wait till, I'll wait until it um, clears up a little bit. Let me know when it's clear. Still is blurry. Or maybe maybe try unsharing and sharing it again. Okay, let me try that. Maybe I should close a few things. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, wait. That uh, yeah, yeah, it's good. It's getting better. Yeah, yeah, it's good now. Okay. Clear now. Yeah, yeah. it's clear now. All right. So, all right. So here's kind of one of the templates they give you now. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail right now, but you can add a picture and you can replace it here. You can even add it as a video or a slideshow. Um, so this first video or first um, image could be a video. Maybe it needs to be. Uh, so and then you can put in your text here, um, right here, and you can see this is what's really cool is that this is now how you're going to get people into your messenger, right? So you, you get that that engagement with them. Uh, so this will link to our messenger, okay? And then, so I like to think of this as, it looks more like a mini website, to be honest with you. So again, these these are all clickable. The picture is clickable. You can add more content here, okay? And, and it looks amazing on the phone. I'm gonna, I'm not able to get my, um, my phone to share it to my screen right now, but um, you know you can see here it, it has you know different views that like this is where you can scroll over and see different things on here, um, different images that you have. So if you if you have like this is like pretend like this is your home cooking show that you're showing people and you're selling recipes and you want to your freemium is giving people the recipe. Okay, so this could be an ad for that ability for you to do that. And if, in, in order to see what it looks like on mobile, you can just click on um, mobile view. So this is a test environment where you can put up these, you know, these experiences. These links can go anywhere you'd like for them to, anywhere. And that means right now, if I click on this image, it's going to go to my, it's going to come back to my Facebook page test. And I'm not sure if it actually showed this test, but I'm just not going to struggle through that right now so that's what it looks like let me share with you um and i'll share with you later um i'm not sure vincent it will come up some kind of we'll share this and then when you click on it we'll share with you in here how you can get it we'll give you a keyword inside here um, as to how you can um, see how it looks on your mobile device mm -hmm. but let me share with you um briefly how that how this looks um let me cancel this um, how you can get started with this. Um, sorry, click on done. 
Um, they, again, they give you these templates to work with, and you, so you don't have to start from scratch, even though you're able to. I mean, it's simple enough that you can add components here, and I won't get into that right now. I want to do a demo of how this works, and you can get access to that uh, once you just look at how this works. I'll also connect to that or add to that a quick demo as to how to use this. Um, so once this closes, I'm going to share with you um, just briefly the templates they have there. But you pretty much can create these in no time whatsoever. So I just want to share with you some of the, and you can share this, you know, this is kind of a, uh, a mock-up page, okay? It's a simple page that you can create. Um, and this is, uh, yep, where did it go? Get inspired tools, um, manage mock-ups. So, all right, so all you do is, for instance, and it shows what I just created here. So you're just gonna go over here, and you're gonna click um, create mock-up. And again, this is called an instant experience. And you can see all the other um, mock-ups that you can create in here. And I love this environment. Um, this is, you know, you can have your creatives come in here and create something very quickly um, for you without going into the ad managers. And um, then as you may or may not have seen, you could then import into your ads manager so I'm going to create another instant experience here, um, and it gives you the you, clearly you can add your, your logo here, uh, whatever you choose, um, your branding. But then if I want to um, create um, an experience here, uh, I can say search for existing, um, or I, I can um, create a new experience here. Where is that? Um, single image or carousel. Carousel is obviously where you can scroll over um, and see other images. And what I'm trying to get to is where it allows you to use one of their templates in the camera find that right away. <laughs> Where is that? Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry for this. I know I'm not sure. Can you, put that? you can add as many as you want. Like here's where you can add, you know, like your first first images and then you can add new new um, new experience, new different uh, like add a button here. You can add as much as you want. Here, so um, you can, oh, that's the call to action button, but you can add as much as you want here. And then even in the carousel aspect, you can add as many images as you want, as far as I can tell, to that as well. So, um, yeah, so I would, I would probably you know, try not to exceed maybe like no more than 10 um, myself, but um, you know, it's a matter of experimenting with it. So I'm not sure why I cannot find um, the templates part of it. Interesting. Um, let me back up. Let's see. Well, let's do this. Um, Let's not play too much and waste too much time with me messing around with this. I'll, I'll create a demo um, that you, you can look at. If you want to see how this looks um, on your phone, um, um, I'll provide you with a link um, in the experience that I'm going to make available on our Facebook page. And um, then you can also watch the video as to how to do this. But uh, yeah, the, the the templated one I wanted to share with you has disappeared. So, uh, okay, let me start from here. When you come in, this is the screen you'll see. It gives you a quick tutorial, and you can come in here and then um, um, select which which uh, account you want to use. And clearly, it's pulling directly from your ads manager. And again, this is a kind of a sandbox, if you will, where 
it's, you know, any one of your employees or someone you're working with could come in here and create this experience for you. Um, and then they are able to import it into uh, your ads manager. And to my understanding, you're also able to, um, let me see. Yeah, let me see. I think I did it this way. Well, let's just, yeah. While I'm here, I may as well play around a little bit. So I just kind of started playing with this yesterday, uh, or let's say I started playing around with it Wednesday uh, when I kind of came across the idea of it. Um, but somewhere in here, it allows you to, um, allows you to play with templates. So is this a project? Okay, let's go back into instant experience again. Yeah. So I've missed it somewhere. I've missed it where you're able to um, use the templates somewhere. I'm not seeing it anywhere. So I'll figure it out where I misplaced that because you don't have to start from scratch. Um, it gives you a complete layout. But um, again, I just wanted to kind of give you an exposure to this um, process and all this 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 experience that you're you're able to then bring into Instagram onto your Facebook page and then connect and add to them um, any links that you would choose. Um, it should be here where that use template. I'm not sure why it isn't. But uh, it's probably just me. But here's where you can add different components. Share that. And components is ba basically like you know, pictures, video, carousel, buttons, text, um, so headline. So you can build this out yourself. But again, you're able to build this out. If you've already, most of us already have content on our page or inside of our, on our, um, on our devices that you can upload them um, with that available content and um, just get this done in no time. Uh, and that's what's fun about this. You can, you can create these experiences. And I believe you can also then, um, you can also then, uh, it, it can be an ad and it really should be, but you can also then, uh, to my understanding, you can post this as a, as a post as opposed to an ad as well. So here's you would import it or um, import into your your ads manager from here. So anyway, so let me I'm going to stop messing around and wasting time um, and go ahead and um, create this experience. I'm going to use this actual one here so you know what it looks like. And then I'm going to change this, fix this so that you can when you click on one of these links, you can get to the um, messenger and watch how it looks on video and then a quick demo of how to set this up. So apologize for the confusion. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, that's enough for today. What do you think, Vincent? Had enough? Yeah, great stuff. I have lots of stuff today. <laughs> yeah. Instagram, yeah. Facebook, um, yeah. AR. Um, yeah. I didn't even get into talking about, you know, what I've been working on is by taking that instance and making it an ad inside of Instagram. Um, so that's something else I'm probably going to show as a demo. But yeah, we have a lot of stuff we try and cover here. And a lot of it you can find on our Facebook page. But bottom line, we want to thank you for watching. It was a quick hour for me. I don't know about you. But uh, hopefully you found a lot of value out of what we do here. And um, appreciate you being here. So we, you can find us at uh, D2C e, e Ecom. And I said it right this time. You just say .com. 
<laughs> but you can see you can you can find us on Facebook and as well on our Instagram account. So anything else you want to add before we bounce out of here, Vincent? Uh no, that's that's all I guess for today. Cool. All right, buddy. Well, again, we thank you so much for watching. You could be doing anything or watching anyone, and we thank you for giving us your time. So till next time, this is Sandy from Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Vince. <laughs> All right. yeah, I think I think he got cut off there when, when I said it. Yeah, Vincent here again from Singapore. See ya. <laughs>